Board Rain will we'll do this. Welcome uh, to another fun-filled virtual open house for the Fishtown District. Uh, I'm Mark Colazzo, Executive Director of the Fishtown Kensington Area Bid. Notice, Kay, I do my radio voice when I have to say a lot of words really close together. Yeah, and then you sound all muffled and blaring. Yes, thank you. That was my nickname in college, muffled and blaring. But we do welcome these things because even during COVID, it is a way uh, as our corridor continues to thrive to bring property owners, developers in connection with uh, prospective buyers or tenants. Um, and it's a great way to do that. It's a great way, even when not a lot of people are on the call, to sort of highlight some properties that uh, we can get out to our folks. With that, I'm going to turn it over to the machine, the straw that stirs the drink of this organization, Kay Anderson. Kay, why don't you give a little bit about where we can find all the properties that we have for sale or lease, and then meeting is yours. Absolutely. Um, so if you go to our website, fishtowndistrict.com, um, and then click on properties, which I'm actually gonna share my screen real quick so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is where we list all of the uh, properties that are for sale or for rent within our district. Um, we try to update this uh, as much as possible. I try to update it daily with any new listings that come into my email. Um, but you know, as we all know, it's a big district and real estate here moves very quickly. So I'm bound to miss something. Um, Within here, there's always a picture um, and all of the uh, relevant information. Um, for those of you who have commercial listings, you can also hit this button here that says claim listing. Um, and then when you do that, I'll get a notification um, and then you can, I'll hit approve and then you can create a login and manipulate your listing on your own as well. Um, you can add new pictures, change the price when you change the price. Um, all of those great things. Um, that's about it when it comes to uh, our property list. Like I said, I try to keep it as up to date as possible. Um, and if at any point you have a new listing, feel free to just reach out to me via email and I'll be happy to add it for you. Awesome. Thanks, Kay. And, and, and as Kay said, it, it changes daily. And certainly we see certain areas now that are, which we're thrilled to see that are getting more attention, like North Front Street, which seems to be part of the new frontier now, which, which is great. And even East Girard, and we're happy to be part of that with our conservatorship project. Um, we have a new guest, Jacob. Why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are, where you are, and how we can help you. Thank you for having me. My name is Jacob Cooper. I'm a partner here at MSC Retail. We are a um, commercial real estate brokerage based in Center City, Philadelphia, and we are active specifically in the retail, restaurant, and hospitality space. We represent landlords, help them find tenants. We represent tenants and help them help them find space. Um, we work. Uh, well, I work specifically in, in the city of Philadelphia. My firm works regionally uh, in South Jersey and out the state college and, and Delaware. And we also have an office out in Los Angeles and we do work in, in Southern California. So um, for today, I would love to talk about some of the work that we're doing in uh, Fishtown. And, um, you know, we've been involved in a lot of uh, transactions and a lot of deals uh, with open businesses to date. And we're looking forward to kind of continuing that. Um, I wanted to talk about three specific spaces today. Um, so if it's cool, I can, sh can I share my screen? All right. Awesome. Um, many of you, all right. So, um, the first is, um, a property that's up and, um, available right now. And you all are probably familiar with it. This is the Wolf Court building at 501 East Gerard. Um, we are, um, speaking with some tenants now, but at this point, the entire, um, retail space on the ground floor is still available. It's a really great opportunity for someone that's looking for um, clean, open vanilla box 
um, space, easily constructible, a ton of frontage on, on East Girard Avenue. Um, the benefits of obviously new construction when it comes to building out space. Um, and uh, just to give you an idea of the, the size, we have 12,600 square feet available. It's currently uh, split uh, into uh, three separate spaces, but these uh, partition walls could be oriented in any way um, to suit a tenant's size needs. Um, and that, uh, again, the, the benefit here is that uh, someone could, could be in rather quickly um, uh, because the building is constructed and uh, the space is in a vanilla box condition. Um, and we are asking $30 a foot here. Um, we have uh, two spaces on Frankfurt Avenue additionally that I'd like to talk about. Um, and uh, the first is a, a, a rendering which you, I think posted um, on, um, you know, you saw on social media. This is the, the infamous uh, Matt Damon building at 1601 Frankfurt. Um, this property has been purchased um, by a developer. The developer intends to demolish the existing uh, building and build a three-story uh, building uh, featuring 1,800 square feet of retail space on the ground floor. Um, we are considering tenants for both the entire 1,800 square feet as well as uh, we have a subdivision plan which can cut the space into two spaces. So if you're looking for something smaller, we would have a about 600, uh, excuse me, 650 square feet, as well as 1,150 square feet. Um, each of these two, uh, you know, retail bays are, are associated with each of those smaller spaces. Um, the upper floors of this property are going to be residential. Uh, timing on this is next, toward the end of next summer. So I conservatively, I would say September 2022. Um, so again, if you're if you're looking for for uh, to, to locate your business uh, on Frankfurt Avenue, but not ready to go right now uh, and are willing to wait. This is a, a phenomenal opportunity, really in, a, in a, an incredible location across, you get, you get the benefits of being across um, against vehicular traffic. So it's a really nice billboard for, for your brand or your, your business. Um, and then finally, this is a little bit further up um, on the 2,500 block. What was the price on that one? Sure. Um, we're, we're flexible, um, I would say we're, it's subject, subject to kind of a, a, a tenant's desires, really. Okay. But it's going to be more expensive than, than the East Girard. Um, as you know, rents are going mm -hmm. up there. So, um, And then finally, we, we have um, one final property, which um, is uh, an existing property at 2521 Frankfurt Avenue. It's a uh, I don't know what the what the former use of this building was. It's a historic building. Uh, there is a new construction, but 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 beautiful facade being under construction right now to the north of this property, and then that old bar to the the south of it. Um, so this is this is 1,200 square feet on the ground, but this user could could um, take the entire building. So um, that's and also that probably the place right next to and KC where NKCDC was a few doors up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's great. Is, is, so the, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So those are uh, those are what I have going on in the district right now. A lot, we have some some tenants that are looking for space, um, and some other things that may come up in the next few months. But that's uh, that's a good start for now. Back to the uh, as you call it the 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 Matt Damon property, um, yeah. the corner property there. And uh, forgive me, you said it's. Could be one or two commercial spaces. Correct. How big? How big if it was one? Eighteen hundred square feet, okay. and there is a uh, there would be a six hundred square foot outdoor back back patio back area uh, for uh, for exclusive use by that tenant. Interesting. Yep. Uh, yeah. And and above it is going to be is that office or residential? Um, it's still to be determined. It's it's definitely going to be residential on the third floor. The second floor may be either office or residential. Is it appropriate so we can start marketing this for you now? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, we we already have. Um, we're 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 far along on negotiation in the split level split scenario. We actually have 
really uh, serious interest for the smaller space, the 650 square foot space. Um, so t time is of the essence. Um, my, my guess is that the, it, it, it will be spoken for probably in the next few months, the entire footprint. So we're, we, we've had some really good conversations thus far. Is it, is it set up for possible food as well? If could it, be, could be. yep, yep. Great. Um, I don't want to, can we, can I, can, and I hate, it, sorry for all, the, the first property show you showed, the Front Street one? Yeah, yes, uh, you mean Gerard. Gerard, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. So that's, that's vacant now. Correct. But that's a that's a larger space. You're saying the smaller. Yeah, it's a larger space. You can you can see this this way that we've demise. You can create a demising plan of this lar of this twelve thousand six hundred square feet into four spaces. Um, you know, the corner being thirty eight hundred square feet, and then the inline spaces being a little bit smaller. Gotcha. And that's one of the areas where at least the parking situation has improved a bit. A bit. <laughs> Well, listen, it, it is Fishtown, so it's uh, uh, we, we, we take it with a grain of salt, but we're working on that. We're working on solutions. So all of the retail are open as of now? Yes. Ready to move in if someone's yes. ready to go? Y yes. So there, there, there is some construction that needs to be you know, um, to occur. Uh, bathrooms need to be installed subject to the tenant's preference. HVAC needs to be distributed, you know, all the finish work. It's just a, it's just a vanilla shell right now. So it does need to be built, but generally speaking, that work could commence uh, in the near term. And on the last one, how does, you said it's got already got an historic designation? It does not have an historic designation. It's just a historic front. Um, Timing on that is a little bit more fluid. I think that's probably occupancy before the end of the year. That's 2521 Frankfurt. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. I'm done with my questions. I know we have some other guests on, but which I think is great. But it's it's wonderful to see the spaces. Um, you know, we're we're very lucky and we don't take it for granted here that especially during what has been a very difficult over one year. Um, that the demand to open and be in Fishtown um, is still great. Um, so we, we expect that we're going to be able to help you, Jacob, get those filled. Absolutely. Uh, Thank you. Does anybody have any other questions for Jacob on any of these three? Jacob, how can anybody reach you um, to find out more about these properties? Sure. Uh, email address is jcooper, J-C-O-O-P-E-R at hellomsc.com uh, or my direct dial is 215-883-7402. That's great. And we'll certainly Thank keep you. in contact with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Kay and I always get calls at least once a week about someone looking for space somewhere. Um, and you pretty much have it all covered if you think about it. You got Gerard and you got a, a couple of hot spots on Frankfurt. And what we I even like about the 2500 one is um, you know, when we came in, that was an area that we really wanted to accelerate, ignite a, a bit. And there's been, since we've been here, a lot of activity just coming down that end of the district. So um, it's a great time for someone who wants to get here and be part of the district. Um, did you say it, it, that was one you, the, you didn't know what the rent would be yet or? Uh, also negotiable. Gotcha. Yeah, subject to what it, what the, the tenant's requirements for build out are. Awesome. Um, Thanks. Thank you, Jacob. Um, any other questions or, or anyone things that anybody wants to raise? I know we've got some additional people on the call if they would like, want to introduce themselves and. I'm sure. Hi, this is Nadia Belinsky with MPN Realty. Sorry, I was a little late. I was finishing up another call. Um, I do have a couple spaces that I just wanted to bring up. Um, right. Unfortunately, I'm on the road, so I'm calling from the car. Um, but just to swing off of Jacob's space on the 2500 block of Frankfurt, we have a couple of spaces there on the 2500 and 2400 block of Frankfurt as well. Um, 2525 Frankfurt Avenue is a new construction mixed-use building that is being built now. 
Uh, we have a double, it's a double wide building with about 30 feet of frontage there on Frankfurt. The retail space is about 845 square feet. So good for a small boutique retailer. We've had a couple cafes looking at the space, um, dessert shops, things of that nature, or things that are ideal landlord would really like to see here. We're asking 2,500 a month, triple net, which includes a warm vanilla shell delivery from the landlord, plus some additional TI, depending on who the tenant is. Um, scheduled delivery here is for summer of 2021. The building is being built now, uh, framing is going up. So I have a meeting with ownership tomorrow to discuss timeline and schedule, but as of our last call, they were still on track to deliver sometime in the summer. Um, the same developer is doing another project on the 2400 block of Frankfurt at 2414 Frankfurt. Again, similar space, smaller, uh, right about 800 square feet. This will have 23 feet of frontage of commercial frontage on Frankfurt Avenue. Here we're asking 2450 a month, triple net. Again, both projects are happening now at the so timeline delivery is the same. And this will include the same vanilla box delivery with some additional TI from the landlord, depending on who the tenant is. Um, Great. And how can we reach Veronica, you to get more info? Uh, sure. Yep. So email nbalinski at mpnrealty.com or my direct cell is 267-441-0601. Um, and then Mark, we haven't officially met, but I know you had a couple tenants. I think you met with Alex from our office and looked at space at 1229 North Front Street, yes. which is still available. Yeah, so we have the 1100 plus or minus square feet here at 1229 North Front, right off of the L stop where we're asking 30 a foot triple net. Um, building is built now, apartments are occupied. The commercial space is in shell condition just because we're not sure who the tenant is going to be. But again, landlord is open to at least a vanilla box delivery, if not more, depending on who the tenant is. So that's a space that's available now, ready for tenants fit out. Um, we also have a space up the street at 1316 North Front, which is about 1500 square feet on the ground floor plus additional lower level space that could be usable because there would be two means of egress. Um, again, it's shelf space currently, but landlord is open to TI packages, things of that nature, depending on who the tenant is. There, we're asking 3,600 a month triple net. And in fact, now that I saw that, I took a prospective tenant to see that one too. That yeah, one he loved. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great space. Um, it's, you know, you have a lot of frontage there on North Front. You have nice ceiling heights. And for somebody like similar to who you brought there, Mark, that would have, I feel like for him, the manufacturing type aspect of his business that he does would work very well on the lower level there. Exactly. And it also allows for growth. It you does. Know, yeah. For, for more yeah. Spaces. So yeah. uh, it is a great spot. And, and isn't it amazing to see the demand now that you have people wanting to be on North Front Street, right by it the is. L, which is where we are. Yep, right yeah. under the L. <laughs> Um, and then one other thing that I have, um, and I'm not sure if Veronica joined us or not, um, because I know she has a couple of things as well, but so Veronica and I, I am here now, actually, I, could, I was okay. going to say, I, I can say, I was just going to say, I actually loaded up my computer. I can, um, I can share my up, screen. You want to pull up Gerard? Great. Yeah. Let me hop off my phone now. So Veronica will pull up a new listing that her and I have the Dollar Tree at Gerard in front. Oh, let's see. Is that working? Yes, sound wise. Um, all right, let's see if I can share my screen. It is actually not allowing me. Hold on one second. No, we can see it. Yes, but for some reason, it's not letting me open the next. Here it goes. The other tab. All right. So this is um, front thirty-one or front and drawer is up now, Nadia. Nadia, did you want to talk about it? 
I was saying, if you have it up, Veronica, why don't you go ahead okay. and talk about it? So um, I think it's been pretty well advertised within the community that this uh, property is going to be available. Dollar Trees coming to the natural expiration of their lease. And uh, the property is pretty fantastic. We are trying to be very cognizant about what goes in here. So we'd really love as many ideas from you guys as we can get. Uh, it's about 14,000 square feet. It's Claire Span was originally built as a movie theater and includes a loading dock off of Front Street and then a parking lot behind it that fits anywhere from seven to 10 cars. Um, we feel like it's a pretty pivotal piece in Fishtown. And, uh, you know, we, we are aggressively going after people who we think um, would be a good fit for the location and for the neighborhood. So if you have any suggestions, please reach out to either Nadia or I and we'll pursue. Um, I think there were a couple others. 2525 Frankfurt, you did mention already. This is the, the property and 1416 US. Did you mention 1416, Nadia? I don't think you did. That's been leased. Oh, then that's why. Apologies. <laughs> um, we also have two others. Well, 1600 North Front is something I wanted to discuss as well. They're now out of the ground and we're gonna have 4,000 square feet, a little over 4,000 square feet of grade. And then there is also some lower level space that we'll be able to deliver there. Uh, this is right at the corner of Front and Oxford. Um, a lot going on there right now too. And I think the, the only, the other one that I wanted to mention, um, in addition to 1300 North Howard, which we have up to 34,000 square feet there, we'd consider as small as 7,500 square feet. Um, in addition to that site, we are now bringing to market um, Fishtown Brew Pub on Frankfurt Avenue, which is going to be delivered fully built out. And uh, we're looking for a great operator there. So I do love the 1600 one. That's literally right across the street from us, guys. We're at 1509. So I've been wa I've been watching the work being done. It looks beautiful what it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to see this one get under roof. But it's going to have some really great um, retail windows in the front too, which we think will interact really well with the neighborhood. So, how many retail spaces? So they can, they're building it so they can divide it. If somebody wants just the lower level, uh, they can deliver that separate. Um, so technically we can say two. If somebody wants the full space though, obviously they're very happy to accommodate that. You and know, there's one other residential? site. residential? Um, above is 38, I believe. 38 units. Um, there's one other site that, I wanted to bring up, and that is um, 2120 East York, which is across the street from Martha Bar and Zigzag Barbecue. Um, we have, a, let me see if I can grab the package to be able to share. It's not, it's not really gonna do it that much justice, but here I'll do this here. Take your time. <laughs> so we have um, ground floor space available and uh, with tremendously high ceilings. And then there's also this lower level space with light wells that come in uh, that is, we think a really great opportunity for a fitness user or somebody of that that nature who is more price conscious. Um, and it's about 3000 square feet on the lower level and just about a thousand square feet on the first floor. But this, this whole neighborhood is, or this whole area of the neighborhood has um, gotten quite lively. What's the cost on the lower level one? Uh, we are asking um, 4650 a month for the lower level. It's a little over 3,000 square feet. Got it. Veronica, if, if, quick question on the um, 3135, I guess it's West Gerard. 
Mm -hmm. um, that so the the tenant is leaving in June, right? Yeah, they're leaving this summer. Yeah, is 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 the I, I, I talked to Bruce a little bit. Is he open to splitting it at all, or is he prefer to have one? The way the building lays out, it definitely is better to have one tenant. One tenant. And we are we are looking just to have one tenant. If there's somebody who you think fits the traffic patterns that are there really well and doesn't need the whole space, you know, let's have a conversation about it. But um, I believe there are a lot of interesting operators that can take a space that large. Absolutely. And it's certainly for what I know for a corridor and, and Randy and Kay can attest to this is that's an area that's perfect to have something that can really be a, a patron draw, you know, mm -hmm. right by the L uh, there's new development going up right next to it where the Seven Eleven is. Um, right. It's really ripe to have something that pops there. So we're, we're excited about that as well. Yeah. We're very excited about it. And if you guys, ever have a, a brainstorm of a type of user that you want us to pursue, we are, um, as I said, very um, cognizant of what is going to go in there. Awesome. And I assume it could be transformed a bit if, if a food type place went in there. That it could be what, I'm sorry? Like, it could be easily accommodating for like a, a food location to go in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, not a, that wouldn't be a problem. Got it. For every, for, we're going to get this out to all our folks. How can we reach you guys, Veronica and Nadia? Um, I'm V Blum at mpnrealty.com. It's, um, I'm like Michael, P like Peter, and like Nancy, realty.com. And my number is 267 238 1728. Awesome. Thank you so much. Kay, Randy, do you have anything to add? Uh, no, I wanted to thank you guys for um, hopping on today and let you guys know that we're also going to be um, sharing this to our YouTube channel. So any uh, requests that we get, Mark or I, as far as uh, folks looking for space, this is probably the first link that we're going to send them. Um, so I really appreciate all of the helpful information that you shared about each property. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you all. Uh, anything further before we let everybody go back and make some money? I want to thank everybody for being part of it. We look forward to sharing it. Lots of great spaces available, and we look forward to helping those get filled in the next days, weeks, and months to come. So thank you all for the great work, and we look forward to working with you. Uh, have a Thanks great so day, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.